Hi everyone, it's your boy Robert Ya, and today we will be visiting the Manting Imperial Garden in Shishuang Bana. This is the fifth and last day of our holiday in Shishuang Bana. However, we are not done with our holiday in the Yunnan province yet. Later today, we will be taking the high speed train to Kunming, the capital of the Yunnan province in China. As mentioned before in my other Shishuang Bana videos, if you intend on coming here for holiday and flying your drone, don't bother. Most attractions fall within the 20 km no flying zone of the airport. In essence, your drone won't even take off. Additionally, try not to travel to Shishuang Bana during the Chinese New Year. The small city is not geared up for the amount of people during that time. On a more positive note, Shishuang Bana is a very warm and sunny destination and is extremely rich in unique local culture and cuisine. It offers a little something for everyone, but it's mostly a real relaxation holiday destination. The Manting Imperial Garden used to be the primary imperial garden of the Dai Kingdom. The park is in downtown, so finding it shouldn't be too difficult. The park is the pinnacle of Dai royal customs and also boasts Buddha temples, Dai folk customs and architecture. The park is centered around nature with hills, water features and many local tropical plant species. For these reasons, many girls and older ladies enjoy coming to this place park for photography shoots. The total area of the park is around 6 square kilometers or 2.3 square miles. Entrance fee to the park is 70 RMB or 10 USD a person. Children and pensioners enter free. The park is open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. There are also separate evening times from 6.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. that include bonfires, shows and dancing. <laughs> The park, according to legend, was created by a Dai king around 1,300 years ago. One day he went hunting and met a lady. They fell in love and got married some time later. In order to commemorate their love, the king built the imperial garden where they met and decorated it with beautiful plants and flowers. When the new queen visited the garden for the first time, she was left speechless by its beauty. After returning to the palace, however, she became unexpected ill. The king summoned the best sage in the land to concoct a cure for the queen. Still, the queen was sick and no one knew why. The queen returned to the garden and as if by some miracle recovered as if nothing ever happened. It turns out that when the queen visited the park the first time, her soul got left behind because of how majestic the garden was. And when she went back to the garden, her soul returned to her. The park was named Chun Wan which means Garden of the Soul in Dai language. <laughs> The most important attraction of the Manting Imperial Garden is the Zongfu Sea Temple. Now this could be the first or last attraction you see, depending on which entrance you use to enter the park. For us, it was the last.
Zhong Fu Si is the oldest temple in Sichuan Bana and is also the main administrative temple in the region. The original temple was built in 1615 AD, making the temple more than 1,400 years old. The original temple was built by two monks from Burma or modern day Myanmar. During the temple's lifetime, it has been reconstructed five times due to man made and natural catastrophes that befell it. Anyway, that's all for the Munting Imperial Garden in Shishuangbana. See you all in Kumning. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.